uh, within CableNet we have several different elements of the whole true two-way package. Uh, one element, of course, is the consumer electronics hardware that consumers will be able to purchase and put in their homes. The second element is some of the uh, hardware that the operators will be deploying in their cable systems to enable true two-way applications and services to be delivered. And the third element is the content, the actual uh, elements that the consumers will be able to receive on those TV sets, set-top boxes, DVRs, etc. We have several companies here in CableNet who are uh, working in the content uh, creation space, developing test tools, developing the ap actual applications and services themselves. Okay, and who do we have here today? We have uh, Audrey Rellis, who's with Unisoft. Hi, Audrey. Hi. Can you just walk us through what you've got here at your... Uh... Yeah, basically, Unisoft is a distributor for SLT. We're located in London, and they do the encoding system for the OCAP and uh, ETV applications. So our, our hardware sits in the head end and actually spins out the application so it gets it from the head end to the set-top box. So it's going to work in live deployment. It's actually Time Warner has deployed and, uh, from SA via SA into the head ends that are out there now. And um, we also do development tools so that you can test your apps in the, in the lab and spin them up and run them on your box and see how it's going to look on a set-top box in life. Sure. Can you just show us real quickly the kind of thing you're talking about here? So basically you put an application on, you know, the carousel. It'll come up like this. This Now this is the ETV box. It's, a, it's the legacy boxes that are out there. So... So, uh, just to, uh, Mike, if you're still here, just yeah. to uh, cl clarify for some people, the whole idea about there's there's the two levels, there's EBIF and there's true two-way, and so while there are two two-way boxes that are going out there, there are also some applications that will be supported by the legacy boxes, yes? That's absolutely correct, yeah. So you'll have uh, true two-way devices, true two-way being the uh, name for the brand at retail, uh, but in addition to legacy boxes, which would be uh, obtained from the cable operator, not through a retail environment would uh, be able to support these kinds of advanced interactive applications through the eBIF, uh, which stands for Enhanced Binary Interchange Format, a uh, type of, uh, of a specification or common approach to delivering these services. All right, excellent. So let's go back over here. So uh, you, you were showing us how you bring this up in the... Uh... So basically on, on the ETV, you get a CNN Live. This is an app that InSequence did. You press that. Your, your select button and the ETV app will come up. So then, you know, that, which gives you the interactivity. And then we also do that with the same thing for OCAP applications as well. Okay. This is Terry. Hi, Terry. Hi, I'm from the Korea, uh, from Samsung headquarters. We are representing a Samsung OCAP true to way box, PBR box to HD. Okay, and can you just walk us through what you've got here? Um, we have um, two to a dual tuner HD DVR box. Mm -hmm. Also, it's compliant with the OPK 1.0, has some um, access 2.0 inside. And let's show It's the same box. We are showing you the home network system. Um, it's connected with the DLNA product, protocol with um, PC and mobile and another set of box. So we can share the contents together. Okay, so through True Two Way, you're able to bring content up on any of these devices? Yes. So, uh, for example, that might be sort of a, a home media center kind of setup where you've got some kind exactly. of piece of content. Exactly. Home media center is from the Time Warner's UI, right. and we are also making ourselves. Okay, terrific. Okay, well now we're over here with Tehi, who's going to show us some of the other stuff here. Okay. Are uh, you seeing this one is a Samsung new OCAP SD True to Ray TV? And uh, we built this one as a new for this year. We expect to be released end of this year once the uh, True to Ray is really available in the market. And this one, what you're seeing is a full inch, and we uh, have a plan to release two different sizes the 4 inches and 32 inches. And, uh, basically that's it. The one, what you're seeing is a bulk eye. This application is like a okay application, but as you know that the uh, new audience, we don't have the okay feed. So we're just using this application as a, just, we're just saving the fresh memory that I 
using the cox, the live key, and then I plan in it. So once you're using this TV, you don't need to uh, connect to the setup box anymore because the setup box is internal. We're using DOCSIS modem, ESC, and you just need a cable car slot here. Once you click plug in the cable car here. Yeah. You get a picture of that. All right. Yeah. Then uh, that's it. Then the TV will download it, get the data from the MSO. Once download is complete, then the TV will loading the application. We show this kind of application on top of the TV. Okay. So you see. And uh, this show the guy like uh, what do we have? The TV guide. The guide has been provided by um, Guideworks and guide TV works. Guide. This yes. is their J guide. But this depends on the what MS will provide the application. For the uh, like a timer cable, they will provide the ODM, the Cox cable or Comcast. They will may uh, provide the Cox their own like uh, raw application. For TV complete our test, some of the tests with Tarion cable at the end, and we test the Google application with the time test. So uh, that is stable and uh, it fits. So you will see this kind of TV end of this year once the true to is ready in the market. Yeah. So the final piece of the puzzle is the operators actually deploying the technology through their headbands around the country. And basically where we're at right now is Time Warner has deployed about a million boxes. Other operators are readying their systems. And the industry's been very forthright in indicating by the end of this year they expect to have the technology in systems to pass about 90 million households in this country.